This is your sign to watch this video until the end. If you ignore this video, bad luck will rain on your parade. You've been warned. Take a hint and watch the video. The Bible. This is all from the Bible. The Bible says in John 15 that if you skip this video, you're obeying the devil. I am the vine, and you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. You will not believe what I just bought. It's the new give me five things that happened after Jesus died. The Roman soldiers were ordered to seal his tomb and guard it for three days. A huge stone was rolled across the entrance and sealed with a Roman seal. On the third day, the stone was found rolled away and the body of Jesus was nowhere to be found. While the Roman guards were on duty, they saw a bright light and the body of Jesus ascending into heaven. After Jesus died, the world changed. If you skip this video, you're obeying the devil. Five important happens after Jesus' resurrection. Number one, the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Number two, the Roman soldier who pierced Jesus' side with a spear witnessed it and exclaimed, Truly, this was the Son of God. Number three, the women who had followed Jesus saw the tomb was open and empty, and they were greeted by a group of men in white robes who said Jesus was risen. Number four, Jesus appeared to his disciples on different occasions and told them to go and make disciples of all nations. And number five, Jesus ascended to heaven and is now seated at the right hand of God, the of heaven. This is about Papa Resurrection. Please, please share this iMessage. It's me, Jesus. I've been dead for a while now, and I've noticed some things that have been happening since I've been gone. So firstly, there's this thing called the Catholic Church. They say that I started this religion. Also, there are these people called Christians who say that I'm their Lord and Savior. They like to tell people about me and stuff. And finally, there's this book called the Bible. It has lots of stories about me and I think it's kind of a big deal. I am the vine and you are the branches. He what abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For apart from me you can do nothing. John 15 gives us five things that happened after Jesus died. Number one, we were forgiven. Number two, we were adopted. Number three, we were given eternal life. Number four, we were given the power to live a new life. Number five, we were given the Holy Spirit to live within us. These are five things that happened after Jesus died that apply to us today. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. John 15, 5. Not my will, but yours be done. Luke 22, 42. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men to myself. John 12, 32. Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Okay, I'm going to put you guys on a mission. I'm going to give you three days to memorize this. Go and sin no more. Bear much fruit, that you may abide in me and I in you. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him, I am the vine. You are the branches. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Okay? Ready to get your mind blown? What if I told you that everything you think you know about Jesus is wrong? Most people think Jesus came to start a new religion. But what if he actually came to end one? To set us free from the lies of the enemy? To show us the way back to the Father? The Bible says we are branches and he is the vine. Meaning we are one. I'm Alpha and Omega, 